Are you still copying and pasting blocks, dimension styles, and other AutoCAD objects from one drawing into your current drawing? No, please, stop. Here's what you want to do. Use your custom lazy library command and on all of your blocks and AutoCAD objects such as dimension styles, multi-layer styles were inserted automatically into your drawing. How do we do this? Our first step is to create a new drawing. So over here on my top corner on the AutoCAD logo, I'm gonna simply click that and create a new drawing. So I'm gonna pick the Imperial Architecture template because in the United States and Imperial are my units, but you can pick mechanic over here if that's your unit. So I'm gonna open this up. I don't need any of these information. So I'm gonna simply delete it and go to model. So over here, what I need is to paste or create my AutoCAD objects such as multi lines, blocks, and so on. So I already have that. I called my library drawing. If I open it, I have my dimension style. And then this is my multi-liter style and so on. I have a multi-line also or M-line. So basically this would be my library. So very straightforward, simply create a drawing and paste in your information that you wanna insert with your lazy library command. In order to create our command, we're gonna use the tool palette. We can open it by simply using the keyboard control three. So that's the tool palette over here. We could also create this command using the command macros. However, I'm not gonna use it today because this is a 2023 feature that probably not many people have it still. So that's why I'm gonna utilize the tool palette. All right, so the first step that we're gonna need is to create a simple rectangle really quick, like so. And this is so I can left click and drag it to the tool palette, like so. From here, what I can do is click on this polyline and simply select the properties. We're gonna name our new lazy command. So I call this the lazy library but you can rename it as you wish. For a description, this is a command that will insert your block library, dimension styles, multi-lines, multi-liter styles, and basically anything that you include in your store drawing. And we could also insert an image over here by simply click on it and you can pick the image uh, that you desire. Now we can add a command string or macro over here because it's locked. The way we unlock it is by changing the use flyout from yes to no. And now we are able to modify our command macro string. I'm gonna copy this from my second screen, the code that I already have. If you want to simplify your life, you can copy these macro codes from our Patreon page. I'm gonna go over and explain it a bit so you can understand how to tweak it for your needs. So on the on description, we have one piece that says modify command string in capital with your information. So that's the command string over here and whatever it's in capital, we need to replace. But first, let me explain what are we doing here. So first we are uh, perching or using the perch command to perch our library. Why, why are we doing this step? Well, because most of the time we want to edit or modify our library. For instance, you wanted to add a new dimension style that you just created. So you go and open your library drawing, you will paste it. And we need to have a way to perch the library that exists in your drawing to always have the latest library. And then we are inserting our library drawing with our multi 
lines, multi-leaders, textiles, and so on. The way we are doing it is simply inserting it with the insert command, and then we're gonna have to replace our path over here. And then finally, the third piece of code is to alert you or give you a notice that, hey, your library was just added. So that's a nice way to know that our command work well. And we're gonna show you how to finalize or replace the information to wrap up this awesome lazy library command. Um, so let's do that. For that, we are gonna need our Windows Explorer folder where we are saving our library. Over here, where it says perch our library, now in capital is my library. So let's check if that's the correct information. So yes, our drawing is my library also, so that much, I don't need to modify this. But of course, if this were, I don't know, lazy library or something like that, I will be able to change also my library name. But I'm gonna cancel that because that's correct. And then we need the path, my library path. So that is over here, if we click on it, we can simply copy this. So I'm gonna click and copy my path for my library. And I'm gonna go here and simply replace this information where it says my library path there, like so. I'm gonna simply paste, paste, like so. And then notice that we have this slash that we're using here, but over here we have the slash that goes to the, the other one. So let's fix that really quick with replacing those slashes so our command can work. So I'm gonna simply replace those really quick. So don't forget that step because that's very important. If not, your lazy library command is not gonna work. So make sure you replace those. So we did that. And the final step is to replace this, my library DWG name. So let's make sure that we have that, that correct also. So it says my library DWG. So it match with my library DWG. Awesome. So that's all for this command. And that's the lazy library command. So in order to test it, what I can do is open the multi-leader style. So that one. So let's see now that we only have one multi-leader and that's the one that comes with AutoCAD. Also, so if we do a dim thing, we can see that we have only these dimension styles. And of course, the same with our blocks and whatever we store in our library drawing. So let's test it. So let's click on it, the lazy library. It says library added to this drawing. So I can simply press enter to accept it. And when I check my AutoCAD objects, such as multi-leader styles, you can see my multi-leader style was inserted. If we check our dimension styles, you can see that my dim style was also inserted. And whatever you store in your library will be automatically bring into any current drawing that you're working on. So what do you think about the lazy library command?